no talking crazy I need you right in my space But I need it, baby, I'm late But I still can check in with you What's up, y'all? Look who's here. Look who's in my house. But no, what's up, y'all? So it's Tuesday. I just turned it Okay, y'all. So it's Tuesday. Y'all know what that means. Taco Tuesday. So guess who came to do my lashes so I can go celebrate Taco Tuesday? Yeah, that bitch. Yeah. So. Anyways, y'all, if you are a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe right here down below. And if you are, what I said, a new subscriber? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, if you're a new subscriber, subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back to my channel, babes. I love y'all so much. So... These are what my lashes look like right now. Y'all, lash check so goaded because these three weeks old, going on four weeks, and I done played mermaid in the pool. I done did my makeup. Bitch, like, y'all lash checks could never. Right in Houston, wifey mix. Tell her cash sent you. Yeah. Mm-hmm, you might get a discount. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look, I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> Cause I'm special. I get house calls. Y'all lash tech is not pulling up on y'all. Crazy. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all. We getting free tacos and free margaritas. You know bitch love anything that's free. <laughs> but yeah, I'm bringing y'all with me. But first, these lashes. Sorry, y'all. I got a grown ass man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all. So we finally got everything set up. She hated here so bad. We got the hookah. We got the bed, the light, the bad bitch on the table, and the last <laughs> And she got her little movie child. Mm, don't care. <laughs> Where's Rick? Where's Rick? <laughs> Where's Rick? <laughs> okay, y'all. Uh. Why well, stop pulling? Embarrassing me. Thank you. What's all this bullshit up here? All right. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> See, you fucking shit up before you even get to work. <laughs> Sorry, you the fuck? Actually, because I look right as fuck. Try to put it on. Alright, let go. No. <laughs> it is. You hate it. What song are you? Real quick, hurry up. Oh, yeah, so no, be. <laughs> um, get an old school drink. Except when you get this, you get a full credit. You probably. You should. <laughs> it's the nothing spoiled bitch you ain't spoiled. <laughs> Harass. <laughs> Not who it was, bro. Oh my mama, somebody else asked if I got who it was service. I'm saying no. She brought her own. <laughs> Byoh. Bring y'all who could be. Okay. Gotta get the curtains on. That's why I was like, let me shut up. Look, got you little twist. And I'm blind a bit. <laughs> Oh my 
you got to say your part too. Oh yeah. I need to learn her shit. Refresh. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to leave. That's what I'm wearing. You can't really see nothing for real. Uh, that's what I'm wearing. Yeah, I'm gonna just like that. Come on, hey. She mad as fuck right now. Say my name. <laughs> <laughs> Just it's say my name. Shit, um, don't be wasting shit, bitch. What? Oh shit. See, I don't like no bitch that be wasting. Oh. Uh. Put that food in the fridge. Sick. What fucking food? Bro? <laughs> <laughs> yes, mom.
Check it out, straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Yeah, yo. Talk crazy on tweets. Who? They don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. I peep, these new thoughts sweet. We bamboo sticks out in the Jeep. <laughs> it's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the work, put it up for my seeds. No care for the IG, this no care. Do anything for club. Do anything for club. Like, no, bitch. 
I gotta go home. Take me home. I'm not fucking with y'all. Cause, um. <laughs> y'all, a time was here. Like, I'm so glad I got contact for y'all. Y'all, I literally, I'm trying to be quiet because it's really loud in here. And I got, um, I got neighbors, so, but I'm trying to be um, quiet for y'all. <sighs> Hello? I'm chilling, I'm recording. No, I was trying to get him a little outro real quick to let them know I'm home, I'm chilling. And yeah. <laughs> I love y'all so much. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. If you a new subscriber, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I will see y'all later. Bye. Alexa, pause. What up y'all? So Y'all see by the title, and if you follow me on Instagram, you already know what this video is about. So, we having this influencer mixer today. It's Father's Day. The light is not lighting right now. Mm, it's cool. Get my hair really cute. Y'all, I'm going natural today. A little bit of um, gloss and gloss and um, little gloss and little liner. But as you see by my title, and if you follow me on Instagram, then you know what today is. Father's Day, but our influencer, mixer, content creator event. This is what I'm wearing. Yeah, let's get into the details. Ignore my background, y'all. Y'all, I'm late, honestly. And... I know I'm not gonna hear the end of this. So, really fast. If you are a new subscriber, welcome to my channel. Ignore my background, y'all. The background is not backgrounding. But, if you are a new watcher, welcome to my channel. Heels from Fashion Nova. Top and pants from Fashion Nova. Purse from Amazon. Oh, where's my face? Okay, y'all, so I'm trying to hurry. Where's my phone? This purse, like, right? So freaking cute, but it can only fit, oh, I got it. It can only fit my keys and my nail glue. So, I'm glad I got these pants where I have my lip glosses in here. And then, I need to remember to close this though, throughout the day. And then I got my card holder. So, we good regardless. Um, ooh, the boo, the girls is giving. But this is the finished look, y'all. So freak, wait, no, not even the finished look. Then I got my Balenci's. This is the finished look, y'all. Okay, so I think, matter of fact, do I wanna? Okay, so I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get there, cause I'm rushing and doing too much, but yeah, see y'all in a second.
ladies coming up to share their stories and experiences, and we'll also be able to ask questions. We have visitors in the book. And I want it now. Tell me how you want it. Put me on my back, on my stomach. Baby, let me blow it like a trumpet. I can do it all. I can probably suck a water, man. Everything I was doing right now is just in here. It don't even feel real to me. Um, and so I'm, I'm excited to be in here and give y'all knowledge. Um, like I said, when I came out here, y'all, I was broke. Like, dead broke. I had a suitcase. I had a daughter. And I just went hard. I worked a nine to five job. I was a pediatric medical assistant. It was paying me thirteen dollars an hour, and you cannot survive off that in two like, That's just that. So I was working at nine to five. Then I did like a bottom service job. I was not good at that. I could not put the table to save my life. So I made money. So one day I was just like, I can't do this anymore. Like I gotta get some money. So I quit my job. I said I'm gonna go one hundred percent contact job. I already had like, you know, some sort of presence on social media, but it just wasn't there yet. So I just went out and networked. Like, I went everywhere by myself. I had no friends. Like, I used to just go to the clubs, like, hey, girl, you're so pretty. Like, what's your Instagram? And that's how I feel. Like, I just went out there and, and did it. Like, I was scared. I was shy. But that's how you grow, stepping out of your comfort zone and just really take control of your life. Alright, my question is, what makes you want to start like creating content? What made me want to start? Okay, so I started making content um, because like I said, I was broke. I didn't have no other avenue. Like, I had to do something. And so that was my, like, my outlet. And like I said, it was my, not my specialty because like I said, I'm still learning. But I knew that I could capitalize off of it and it could take off. Um, and it's just so many, there's so many ways. It doesn't have to just be a video. Like, you can do so much with content and take it to the next level, do businesses, like I said. I started a community of girls. It's called Girls for Talk Content. Um, and so it's just a community of like-minded women who are interested in bossing themselves up. It's the energy for me. <laughs> hey, y'all. Hey. Okay, so I'm Cash. So I'm a hairstylist and makeup artist in Houston now. I just moved back to Houston from Atlanta. I went to Atlanta right after I was living in Houston for a year. And really quick, I'm gonna tell y'all, like if y'all wanna start over and y'all just scared to start over, don't keep that in mind because you're gonna procrastinate forever. Like just get up and go. So I moved to Florida from the British Virgin Islands because that's where all my family is. I lived there for 12 years. Then I left, moved to Florida for eight years. Left there, moved to Houston for a year. Left there, moved to Atlanta for a year. So I'm all about starting over. So I'm going to tell y'all, just, just do it. Like, if you think about starting over, moving to another state, um, just go for it. Like, don't be scared. If you worry about me, Yeah, just do it. Just do it. Yeah. <laughs>
Come on now, come on. We women, y'all. Let's, Let's go. Good afternoon, everyone. I see y'all getting tired, so I think I want to feel the people and like come to the middle. Because I'm trying to figure out what's really good. You like sit right here, right, babe? Okay. I'm gonna come over here, y'all, just because I really want to feel the people and I want to touch y'all and I really want y'all to feel what I have to say. That's my girl. My girl, my world. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So, okay. Hello. Let's go. Right, so, who am I? I'm Brianna Jackson, but many of you may know me as Breezy. Like Tay said, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I moved to Houston, and um, I'm, okay, girl. Hello. Um, I moved to Houston in 2018. Um, it was for school, but I officially moved here to 2021. That's when I got my first place. Are you talking about when you go to college, you're going back and forth? Oh my bad. you going back and forth, home, and everything like that. What do I do? So I do independent consulting for 300 Entertainment. I work in the radio promotion department. For you who may, for those who may not know what 300 Entertainment is, it is a record label. It used to be an independent record label until um, we are now under Warner Music Group. Some of the people um, who are outside the 300, we got Dunna, Young Thug. Um, that was that album, by the way. I don't want to hear no talk about it. Uh, <laughs> yes, the Megan, Lil Jeremy, Sign, uh, on the PZ. The list goes on. Hello. Well, well, well. Uh, but honestly, y'all, what I'm going to be talking about is it. not only women in music, but a God first lifestyle. I'm not without them. Don't give me a bunch of them here. Hello. 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 Okay. Hello. Here comes here come January. I was in a real bad situation. I'm another one, y'all. Life's kind of crazy. Uh, I was in a relationship for five to six years. Y'all know how it is. You just a relationship, not even really relationship no more. You just stuck to the time. So y'all just staying and being together. But it's like, girl, let the situation go. I cried when God spoke to me. He's like, I need to release you from the situation, but you have to be obedient, Brianna. Don't talk to him, block him, and everything. It was so hard. I cried for like 31 days, all of December. And I'm really giving myself grace because it really took me a year and a half to be over it. But, like I said, he showed me what he can do if I just stay consistent within him. After um, January came, here come February, he began to restore my heart. I was praying every day. Like, he like, just stay consistent. Car broke down all the way to church. In the end of the church, I'm like, oh my God, I'm not going to be able to go to church for a little while because I know nobody's going to take me to the opposite side of town. He was like, we're going to stay consistent. Just, just let go of that guy. Okay, here come February. Let's be with not the 21, but the 2022 part. I said, what? It ain't so. He blessed me with y'all. But listen, listen, listen to the timeline now. Stay consistent in him and all the doors that he is opening for me. So now I've got the 2021, the 2021 hour, I've got the 2022 car, we're going into January, and we still going. So that's January. I mean, that was February. Here come March. 
he, I was, uh, like I said before, I graduated from Texas Southern University. I was uh, the, the captain of the Sensation Dance Team. So if y'all ever seen BET College Hill Celebrity Edition, the captain on there, that was me. God bless me. He got us. I'm like, oh my God, like now I'm going to be on BET? You sure are not. Now I'm going to just be looking good while he's just looking at me on TV. I'm just, oh, okay. Here he is. Hello. Hello. <laughs> he's just going crazy. So I got to be on BET College Hill Celebrity Edition. The blessings keep overflowing. So here comes April, y'all. Coming on down. Stick with me. Stick with me. Coming back to October. It's coming uh, May. I'm supposed to graduate. I still don't have a job though, y'all. So I used to intern for Green Hundred Entertainment back in 2021. So the internship was over. So I'm like, I need a job. I don't know what to do next. God, I see a uh, job on Sony. It was Sony Marketing Representative Rep. I'm like, baby, the requirements was like, you gotta have a lot of followers on TikTok, Instagram, all these social media. I had like 500 followers on TikTok. Then I had like 3,000 on Instagram, they just wasn't giving. So he was like, go up on your rooftop and create some content and just stay consistent. And I'm going to give you what you need. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the provider. I'm going to give it to you. Why I go on the rooftop, y'all? My video. Y'all ever seen the girl that lost her keys from the rooftop? From like, that's what I do. That's what I do. Girl, the, the key that fell off the rooftop, five, literally 5 million views, what was 500 uh, TikTok followers, went to 15. 15,000, Shady Moon ended up posting me. That little 3,000 followers with the 10K followers. I'm like, God, thank you, Jesus. But it's all about listening to them and being what? Obedient. Hello, y'all. Hello. Listen to them and being what? Okay. Like I said, I would have never listened to him. He said, go on that rooftop. I was just like, all right, it's not for me. I'm going to keep going. All right, we're coming on down, y'all. May, I need a graduate. Here we go. June. I started to, he's like, okay, you going to church every Sunday, but I need you to go a little deeper. I need you to go a little deeper with that means. I said, you're right, because I'm being still, and I'm ready to shit. So, I ended up getting a book called Wake Up, Grow Up, and Pray by Shantia Cohen. If y'all have any questions, I'll give y'all that book after. It's 50 powerful prayers. I read that book every single morning. I dedicated myself every, every day at 5 a.m. to God, prayed, and read the book. That's them. Okay, Wake Up, Grow Up, and Pray, okay? Now we're here in July, August. I talk to my boss, I'm like, who's my boss now? I'm like, well, I need a job. He's like, Brie, you only was eight certified. There's really nothing I can do. Like, you don't really got no experience. I said, yeah, but one thing about me, I don't take no for an answer. I don't care what it is. I'm trying to figure out what, where, how, and when, because I'm going to get off. Exactly. Because God has already told me what it was before he even knew what it was. Exactly. So, June, July, August, I work for free, y'all. I work for free for like four, I think that is four or three months. Work for free and literally work to where I want to be. A lot of people, they want it to come easy to them. You have to work, you have to grind, and you have to say what? Obedient. So that, I ended up getting a job in the radio promotion department at 300, and now in October, I became the Midwest rep. And now I'm here today to talk to y'all about it. Period. Uh, so Hello.
one to the back. No. That's uh uh. Ooh, I found it. I found it. Oh, you got me. 